videos about reacting masses and volumes. So in the question, it is given that there is 10 grams of ethanol and the mass of ethene obtained was 2.2 grams. And the question is asking us to calculate percentage yield. So the concept of this question is comparing the theoretical and experimental masses. Use this equation as an example, and we can draw out a table like so, where the individual compound is lined up in its um, individual column. And in the question, it is given that there are 72 grams of magnesium. Experimental mass is 200 grams, and let's indicate that in blue. In the theoretical mass, we can indicate that in red. Then need to indicate the molar mass of magnesium, and we can find that in the periodic table. So that gives us 24.31 grams per mole. And we can take the mass divided by the molar mass to get the number of moles. And usually it's best to write out the full chain of number, but for the, the sake of this example, I will only round it up to three significant figure. So we get 2.96, etc. And number of moles. The molar ratio of magnesium and magnesium chloride is 1 to 1. So the theoretical number of moles would be the same. So we would get 2.96 etc. mole. And the molar mass would be the molar mass of magnesium plus 2 times the molar mass of chloride. And then we can take the number of moles times the molar mass to get the mass. We can take the experimental grams divided by the theoretical grams and times 100 to get percentage yield. And the first number that is given in the question is 72 grams, which has two significant figure. So our answer must be rounded up to two significant figure as well. And so that would give our answer of 71%. Back to the question, we can draw out the table like so. So it is given that there's 10 grams of ethanol, experimental mass of 2.2 grams of ethene, and we can simply cross out water as it's not in the question. We can take 10 grams, the mass, divided by the molar mass of ethanol to get the number of moles. Molar ratio is one to one, so there's the same number of moles of ethene to the ethanol, and we can times number of moles by molar mass and we get mass. And that is our theoretical mass. And now we can take our experimental mass divided by our theoretical mass times 100 to get our percentage yield. And in our question, the value given is written in two significant figure. So our answer would be 36%.